Welcome to another episode of A Lolly Life, and I'm Amy. Today, we are going to talk about cheerleading. Break a break a firecracker, shish, boom, ba, 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 Just kidding. Actually, we're going to talk about how to store your grocery bags because I have a really great little way to do that. The first thing that you need to do is you take your bag and you flop it open and you look inside to see if there are any holes. Because what's the point in saving the bag if there's holes? Send it to recycle. If there are no holes, then you have the two handles over one hand and you take the bag and you just kind of flatten it out so that you get all the air out. So then you have this right down here where you have the two handles and then you have it flattened out like this. And when you do this, I start twisting it like this around itself and you have this little ball and it stays together. Next one. No holes. So, again, take the two handles, rip it open, you look inside, take the two handles, squish the air out, roll it around, tuck the thing over the end. And this is the tuck. You can see how I'm, I end up like this and then I just tuck it over the end, slip it off my finger. And so, I can do this pretty quickly. That's the bag you don't want to keep. Not the bag you don't want to keep. Say hello to Goobly the Worm. Hi, thank you for the worm welcome. <laughs> Goobly told the fisherman that the fisherman could fish better with the worm off the hook. And the fisherman said, that's debatable. <laughs> What's worse than taking a bite out of an apple and seeing a worm? The zombie apocalypse. The zombie apocalypse would be worse. That's what would be worse. Okay, so this bag we're not keeping. <laughs> and this one we're not keeping. So one more time for good measure. You have your bag like this. So you have a couple fingers here and a couple fingers here and you just kind of roll it around and then tuck it over the end just like that. And then you can either keep your grocery bags in like a cute little uh, basket in your pantry shelf or what I do you can keep them in like a an old plastic jar from animal crackers under the kitchen sink or something like that but you can see that they just store up and when you need one it's just so much easier to just reach in and grab one and you know that it is in good shape and that is the end of our wormy episode see you next time on a lolly life